Welcome to my video tutorial series for the OCR Entry Level Certificate in Computer Science. This is the first lesson covering content for Test 1 and looks at the components of a computer system. In this lesson, it is my aim to help you understand what a computer system is and to be able to classify components in a computer with respect to input, output and storage devices. Let's begin. So what is a computer system? Simply, a computer system is an electronic device that has a method of inputting information or data, has a microprocessor to process this information or data, and has a method of outputting this information or data so we as humans can understand it. There are two types of computer system, embedded systems and personal computers. Embedded systems are electronic devices that contain a microprocessor within them and this processor contains pre-programmed instructions that it must follow. These instructions usually cannot be changed. All embedded systems will have some form of input, a method of processing what's been input and a way of outputting the results of this processing. The second type of computer is called a personal computer. A PC is designed to allow a user to choose the task or tasks he or she wishes to perform. It has a central processing unit which is not pre-programmed and it has memory which holds the data to be processed and the data when it has been processed by the central processing unit. Personal computers also contain secondary storage which allows them to store data even after the computer has been switched off. Let's have a look at some examples of embedded and personal computer systems. Embedded systems include things like washing machines, digital watches, microwaves, onboard computers in a car, burglar alarms, air conditioning units and central heating systems to name just a few. Personal computers include desktop PCs, laptops or notebooks, tablets, smartphones, games consoles and even smart televisions. You need to be able to identify a range of hardware devices which fall into the categories of input storage and output devices. The most common input devices include the mouse and keyboard, microphones, scanners and sensors. The most common storage devices include the hard disk drive, USB pen drives or memory sticks, Optical drives, including CD, DVD and Blu-ray drives, memory cards and solid-state drives. Finally, common output devices include the monitor or screen, projectors, printers, headphones and speakers. You also need to know how each of these devices function. Starting with input devices. The keyboard is used to allow the user to manually enter data into the computer system. The mouse is used to select items or icons on the screen. The microphone is used to recognize and record sound and input it into the computer. A digital camera can be used to upload images to the computer. A sensor is used to detect environmental changes and send a signal to the processor to do something. So for example, if you turn on your house alarm and it is fitted with a motion sensor, if this sensor detects movement, it sends a signal which makes the alarm sound. Finally, we have a scanner, which turns hard copies of documents into a digital format for editing. Now let's examine the function of a range of storage devices. Hard disk drives and solid state drives use different technologies but have the same primary purpose to store programs, files and data on a long-term basis. This memory is non-volatile, meaning it does not lose data when the computer is turned off. A quick word of warning. In the exam, if you are asked to identify two storage devices, do not use the hard disk drive and the solid state drive together. This is not allowed as they are both used for the same purpose. Our next device is the USB pen drive. These have less capacity than hard disk drives, but are smaller and more portable, and they are often used for transferring files or data between computers. Optical drives such as CD, DVD and Blu-ray drives 
use lasers to burn data onto disks. These are often used for music, movies or simply backing up data. Another word of caution for the exam. If you are asked to suggest a storage device and you simply write CD or DVD, these are not storage devices. The CD and DVD are the disks, more formally called storage media, which the CD or DVD drive burns data onto. The drives themselves are the storage devices, the disks are the storage media. Try to remember this. Finally, we have our memory card. This is flash memory, similar to a solid state drive, which has no moving parts and is very durable, which is why you find them in cameras and smartphones. Lastly, we have our output devices. The monitor or screen is used to show the user the results of processing so he or she can see what is happening. The projector allows the content shown on a screen to be projected onto a larger surface to show to an audience. A printer is used to create a hard copy of a document stored on a computer. Headphones are used so an individual can listen to sound. And speakers are used so that an individual or group of people can listen to sound. This concludes topic 1.1. See you in topic 1.2.